Right, so I was trying to check my old computer for some files, and when I turned it on, no signal to my monitor. So I'm thinking the graphics card has finally died, and tonight I'm trying to fix it. So how about we just film it for the sake of it? We've already got it open. I'll show you what I'm doing, and we'll see if we have success or failure. If this doesn't work, I'll probably have to put the um, internal hard drives into like some kind of external setup or get a fancy cable just to check what I maybe forgot to transfer. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad I got the alien because this was not going to last very much longer after all the troubles I had with it. But let's see what we can do. Alright, so the first thing the internet has told me is to reseat the video card, um, which I think just means plugging and unplugging cables and putting it back together again. Um, so we'll try that. <laughs> I've never done that before. It looks like I have to take off this plastic bit first. We try not to lose anything. Although, if I break it, it's not a big deal. It's so old. Ew, it's so dusty. I think I'll just clean stuff while I'm here anyway. Okay, so as far as I can tell, there's just this one plug here that I need to unplug and put back in. Um, I don't think I need to take the whole card out. I'm not even sure how I would do that. Um, because it's got like this extension under there. Um, and yeah, I've never had to deal with one of these things before. Like, do I have to take more of the case apart? Which I really couldn't be bothered to do. So I'm just going to unplug it, plug it back in, turn it on, see if anything happens. If that doesn't work, I'll unplug it and then see if I can get the, the you know, built-in graphics to work rather than using the graphics card. Like if I can bypass this, if that makes sense. Ugh. All right, it's unplugged. I'll see if I can plug it back in. All right, I think I plugged it back in. We'll see how it goes. All right, it's plugged in, so I'll turn it on. Nothing's exploding, which is a good sign. I know you guys don't like me poking around without, like, I don't know, gloves or whatever you want me to wear, but so far so good. Um, now, I might turn off my... I might put my alien to sleep so we can see. Um, sleep. Let's see if we get anything up there. <gasps> it worked! Jiggling a cable! Holy shit! Um... Oh, I pressed the wrong, the wrong keyboard. I pressed that keyboard instead of this one. I'm a fucking idiot. Anyway, starting Windows. Um, so I just fixed my computer by wiggling a cable. <laughs> I didn't even have to do the sort of graphics card bypass. So I guess I probably should have put the side back on, but I'll do that when I'm done with it. Um, yeah, so if your XPS, your Dell XPS uh, 8300 stops sending a signal to the uh, monitor, I guess all you have to do is just go in there, jiggle a cable as your first line or whatever. The graphics card maybe isn't dead after all. And like I even use the dusting thing, which I know I should really do, um, that there's better ways to clean it, but that's all I've got, and I didn't break it, so yay. Um, I guess I can go and look for those files now. Wow! <laughs> ah, I haven't logged into this in ages, guys! Hey, hey, we are back! Yay! <laughs> amazing! Um, and also amazing how slow it is. I've, I've gotten so used to the alien. Um, yeah, this Dell, oh my god, I can't believe it's still kicking! Well done! Yay! It's all backed up onto this, had no issues. Um, it did say things like it'll take an, a, a whole day to um, back things up, but then it sped up, so it's really bad at estimating. But yeah, I found all the files that I was missing, um, 
I, I managed to figure out which ones not to copy that I'd already copied because otherwise that was going to take forever. Um, and yeah, so now um, <laughs> it's past midnight, about 20 minutes past midnight. A little one keeps looking at me every now and then like what is going on here because um, yeah, I've still got all this. I still haven't put the side of the computer back on. Um, so that's the next thing I'm gonna have to do, but yeah, yay! Yay for fixing my computer! I thought, like in my old computer, I thought the graphics card had finally died, but no, it just needed the little cable jiggled. Um, I don't think dusting it with that thing probably d didn't do much, but you know, there's a chance, and I know a lot of you guys, when you watched me fixing my RAM on that, on that old Dell, um, didn't like me poking around with screwdrivers and, um, you know, not wearing, I don't know, do you wear gloves or whatever? Like, no anti-static provisions. Um, but it's fine, you know, and it's such an old computer that I don't care. I probably wouldn't poke around so ruthlessly with the Alien, especially considering how much it cost me, and it's still reasonably new, and it's still got its, um, five-year support if anything goes wrong, so, you know, I call them rather than try and do anything myself. Um, but something like this, okay, so I got this in 2011. It's now 10 years old, and it's still kicking! There's a couple things that didn't work on it, um, but the main things that I needed to be able to check documents and save things that hadn't been saved in the right formats, it's all fine. So, yeah, 10-year-old computer. Um, maybe it helps that I spent extra money at the time. Um, I don't know. Uh, a shout out to Cam the Comrade, or I uh, forget what you call yourself now. Shout out <laughs> to you for, yeah, not taking my advice to buy a slightly better computer. I don't know what's going on, but that message did make me laugh. Um, I just like to spend extra money for something good um, that'll last longer instead of buying something cheap that'll only do an average job and struggle very quickly and then I have to get a new upgrade anyway. Like, that's kind of an expensive way to do it. So if you can save a little bit of extra money to get a slightly better machine, I think it does better for you in the long run. At least it did for this one. Um, the Alien's still going really nicely. I know people were like, oh, but the stuff's just out of date already. Um, yeah, but it's reliable stuff and I was able to get it before before the pandemic and all the shortages of components um, and you know I, I've heard things about like all the silicon chips and whatever um, I don't know how many people really struggled to get like a 3080 card or whatever because I haven't really paid attention and here I go on my ramble but um uh, you know if I had waited extra not only will I have not gotten this version of an alien which I need because I have a lot of DVDs DVDs! Um, which I have been enjoying, and so that's why I needed an internal DVD player, because I'm not going to stuff around with an external one, so that's why this was the only alien model for me. The next one coming along had no internal DVD, so that's one thing, but also, like, you know, waiting for the latest components. There's always the new latest, and then supply shortages, because pandemic and people trying to do Bitcoin and stuff like that. Nah, I just get what I know is reliable, but like still above what I need and I have never maxed it out because I don't do gaming. I bought a gaming computer to just be a wanker. <laughs> a paranoid wanker who needs to buy better than what whatever so it'll last a long time. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm trying to make a point or maybe it's like past midnight and I should go to bed. But still got to put this computer back together. Um, because, yeah, it's probably not, oh, can you see it? it's probably not a great idea to leave it open like that. And, yeah, Hopi is now going, oh, what is this? Why are you making noise? Why aren't we going to bed? So, um, that's all for this video. Fixing computers. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Hopi. Oh, my God. All right. <sighs> I'm, I, I actually am just just filming a little bit extra because then the cards can go up, you know, either side of me and that's that's the only reason I'm stalling now. Good night, guys. This video was shorter than I thought because I fixed it in one go. <laughs> I may have spoken too soon. I tried to shut down the computer and boom. So, it, I don't know. Is it dead? Maybe. Maybe not. Um, yeah. 
Uh, a good thing I got as much off as I could. And, uh... Oh no, it's starting up again. I don't want you to do that. I just want you to shut down. Sigh. Alright, it's all put back together. Let's see if it works. Seems to be okay. It's doing the thing. Like, I know it just had a blue screen of death, but can I really be bothered to do safe mode? Like, what am I gonna do? If it dies, though, I'll finally be able to throw it out. All right, while it's thinking, I'm gonna put away all this stuff and get ready for bed so this kid can enjoy life again without me making everything annoying. Aww. Oh my god, I just stood up to put things away and it's already back, so I'll log in and um, I'll try and shut it down. It'll probably take a while to start up, so I'll come back, shut it down, see if we get a blue screen of death again. Alright, so it's up and running. Will it shut down or will it blue screen? Let's find out. Yeah, it did come up with a box saying it recovered from some horrible error. Maybe it said catastrophic even. I, I didn't read it. Um, it was saying you can check online for a solution next time you go online. Because obviously it's on Windows 7, so I don't put it online for security reasons. Um, but yeah, it, it had a big issue, but seems to be fine. Seems to be shutting down. can get back to the alien with a screensaver. Yay! Yay! I'm sorry for anyone who came here looking for a proper tech video. Bye. Yay! <laughs>